Hey, Byron, hope you're doing well. Um, there was a report out uh, today that the Saints are preparing to start uh, rookie Ian Book instead of Taysom Hill. I was just curious, um, how much do you know about Ian Book? How much does that change um, your guys' preparation uh, over the next couple of days? Yeah, so that, I guess that just came out. Um, I kind of got the news on the way up here, but uh, if he's in the NFL and he's playing quarterback, he's going to be a good player. So preparation still stays the same. Um, sure, he's a mobile guy who can run and throw as well. So uh, we'll be working just the same way we were uh, otherwise. Go ahead and raise your hand, guys, if you have a question. Omar. When, when you have such a quick change at the last minute, I understand this is COVID time, so things are kind of unorthodox. How quickly do you have to go about the, the film study on this? Uh, honestly, you just prepare the same way. The meetings don't really change. The structure doesn't change. Uh, well, I guess I guess coaches will probably find some film, a new quarterback coming in, but uh, they still have 10 other players on the field that are consistent. So uh, I still got to guard the receivers, you know, linebackers, got to still go, uh, tackle the, their, their running backs, um, and so on and so forth. Barry? Hi, Byron. Josh Boyer talked this week about how well you're playing how even in ways that the average fan wouldn't necessarily, necessarily see, you're playing well in those areas as well. What's your comfort level in year two in this defense compared to year one? And do you think that's helped you have a really good season? You know, coming into this uh, system, small things are different. The way you play man, whether you're high hip, low hip, how you attack the ball, whether you're undercutting route. So um, it, it's, it was a good challenge. It's a fun challenge, you know, especially trying to adjust the way you play later in, later on in your career. That's something that I was eager to, to adjust to. So, uh, no, it's been fun. It's been fun playing on this team and uh, watching, these, watching these young guys got to come up and, and become their own players and become their own superstars. So I'm just excited to be a part of this whole process and hopefully we keep going, keep it riding. Thank you. Ruby? Byron wanted to ask you about X being named to the Pro Bowl. Obviously, your teammate and friend, I'm sure you have a lot of thoughts on that. No, he makes fun of me every single day. So he's not my friend. Uh, we definitely work together. But no, it's, it's a blessing to see a guy like that perform at the, the, high, the highest level that you see on a day in and day out basis. So uh, he's a ball hawk. Uh, he's a smart player. He's grown in so many ways since I've been here. So uh, there's, there's no one uh, more deserving to, to get that award than him on a defensive side. He's always making an impact. So uh, we're all happy for him. And, uh, of course, he wants more. So he's still, he's still pushing for the rest, uh, rest of the year to get some more. We'll take two more, David, and then Omar. Hey, Byron. I wanted to get your thoughts on uh, this defensive turnaround the team has had uh, from uh, where the defense was uh, at that one and seven start, and then now uh, this six game winning streak. What do you think is the biggest reason for the, the stark uh, difference? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, guys are just playing better. Essentially, guys are, are uh, just executing their responsibilities a little bit better, and you're doing that more consistently. and you kind of receive, see the results that we've been seeing. So uh, that's the whole thing. It's just, hey, we all have a job to do. Line up, get the communication out, uh, do your job at the highest level. And, uh, and the call is going to be just fine. Uh, we're going to be in a position to make plays. Just got to make them. So we're starting to do that a lot more consistently uh, this time around. So uh, obviously, we still want to keep keep that thing rolling, but we're off to, you know, off to a good start. Last question, Omar. Byron, as a fellow safety turned cornerback, I, I'm sure you're aware of the, the challenges that Nick faced last week and, and, and has faced previously. Can you talk a little bit about the growth that you've seen from him as a player? Yeah, well, Nick's one of those guys where, you know, I came in, didn't know much about him, but watching him for, uh, perform and the way he approaches practice, um, there's that one point when I told, I told him, like, hey, you, the way you approach the game, but you inspire me. He's a guy who was probably undrafted, didn't have much of a shot, but he's been fighting, scratching, clawing to be here. And he's been put in a lot of positions and he stepped up every single time. So uh, the fact that he was playing nickel throughout the entire year and has to hop back at safety and make all the calls is uh, that's something that that it, as a team doesn't go unnoticed. I know fans probably don't kind of overlook it, but uh, that's an incredible adjustment to make in a, in a week uh, on a week basis. So uh, he was a guy that all of us, we all trusted and coaches trusted and he did the job very well. So uh, I'm happy to see a guy like that be able to perform at that level and be versatile. I'm curious. Uh, you, you have experience at that spot. Could you have done it? 
and felt comfortable. Not, truthfully, not in this system. The, the, the amount of, uh, of responsibility that these safeties have is, is just tremendous. And the fact that Nick was able to do that within you know, five days, turn around, um, it, it, that's incredible. I, I like to consider myself a smart guy, but I don't know half their calls. I just look at back at the safety and they give me my call and I say, yes, thank you. Um, the fact that Nick is able to do that uh, in, in again, four, four, four to six days is, is really impressive.